Okay, so write 0 0.6725 as a fraction, so here uh, again a recurring decimal. Now this time the repeating part starts at the 7, and then we have a 2 and then a 5. So the dot at the start tells me where we start our repeating, the dot at the end tells us where we end our repeating. So this sequence will have 7, 2, 5, and then it will start again, 7, 2, 5, start again, 7, 2, 5, etc. Okay, so it'll be 7, 2, 5. Um, part of the recurring decimal here. But when we write it, we'll have x equals um, 0 point, okay? Now we've got to make sure that 6 gets written first, okay? So that 6 is at the start. That 6 doesn't get repeated, okay? Because the dot isn't above the 6. It's not included in the repeated part here. So we've got to write the 6 first, and then we're going to do 7, 2, 5, 7, 2, 5, etc., right? Now, because our repeat is of length 3, there's 3 digits here, 725, we need to times it by 1,000, okay? 3 zeros and 1,000, so it's of length 3, so 3 zeros. So when you times it by 1,000, x by 1,000, the digits move up 3 places, okay? So 6, 7, 2 will all go the other side of the decimal point moves up three places, so six, seven, two, and then after the two is a five, so it'll be five, seven, two, and then five, seven, two, five, seven, two, etc. So we'll take away column subtraction. Again, take away. Now this time on the left, a thousand X take away X is 999X, yeah? So 1,000 take away 1 is 999, so 999x. On the right-hand side, well, you can see all of these are zeros up to a point. Now, up to here, then, these, these are not the same. So um, when I take this away, well, I can't, can't I, because this is a 5. This is too small. Can't take away 6. So what we would normally do, then, if I can't do 5 take away 6, I'd go to the next column, put 9, I borrow from here, make that a 1, and the 1 I borrow, then I put here. Okay, so then I'll do 15 take away 6 is 9, decimal point. 1, then I've got here take away 0 is 1, 7, take away nothing is 7, 6, take away nothing is 6. So I've got then 999x equals 671.9. Of course, then to get x, I just need to divide by the 999. That will be my x. Now, I can't leave my answer like this because there's a decimal in it. Okay, that's not how we should leave a fraction. So we need to um, do something with this, otherwise we wouldn't get full marks. Okay, so we need to get rid of that decimal point, and the best way is just to scale it up, times it by 10. So we times the top by 10, it just becomes 10 times bigger, obviously, and the decimal point disappears. So you get 6719, 6719. But of course, if you times the numerator, you've got to compensate, you've got to times the denominator as well. You've got to make that 10 times bigger so the fraction is still the same value. So there is our answer for a recurring decimal.